What's up, Packer fans? Here we are for the Week 9 Madden simulation. Last week, I didn't get to the simulation until way late. I had moved and back to the city, Milwaukee. Go Bucks, Bucks and Six. But here we are, Packers at the Lions. A huge game for the 3-5 and five Packers after the loss to the Bills. The Lions are 1-6. and six. But this NFC is loaded right now. It is crazy what this league looks like. I mean, the Eagles, 7-0 in the NFC East. Eagles are 7-0, Cowboys are 6-2, Giants are 6-2, Commanders are 4-4. Four four. I mean, they could all technically make the playoffs. The Seahawks are 5-3, they're leading the NFC West. But then the Niners are 4-4, four four, tied with the Commanders, so... You know, they, they would be vying for that last wild card spot. But then the Rams are 3-4. and four, The Cardinals are 3-5. and five. Vikings 6-1. and one, They have the division lead in the north. Packers are 3-5. and five, Bears are 3-5. and five, The Lions are 1-6. And, and then in the NFC South, the Falcons are 4-4. Four and four, They have the division lead, which with Mariota, who would have thought? Buccaneers are 3-5. and five, Saints are 3-5. and five, And the Panthers are 2-6. and six. Every team pretty much is still in the hunt. If the Lions 1-6 or the Panthers 2-6 somehow went on a big run, they could still make the playoffs. But pretty much besides those two teams, the rest of the 14 teams in the NFC are all in the, in the hunt. Obviously the Eagles and then you know the, the, um, the Cowboys and the Giants all have the best records. Vikings 6-1, surprise team. But... If one of these teams that are three and four, three and five, or four and four, or whatever, can go on a run here, it's gonna be a race to the finish. And the Packers need to get this win here against the Lions. The Lions just traded their like arguably the best player they have on offense, TJ Hawkinson, to the Vikings nonetheless. Like, if you're gonna trade your best player, don't trade them in the division. What are they doing? I mean, I guess they're trying to get stack picks, but I mean, they're probably going to try to stack picks and push for, you know, really stacking um, players in the draft. Right now, they're slated for probably the first pick in the draft so they can get Stroud or, you know, Bryce Young or whatever, but De DeAndre Swift is out, which means Jamal Williams gets to start. Playing against his old team, a guy that all Packer fans really, really, really liked when he was here. He just got the great energy. And then, as you see, you know, Reynolds and Khalif Raymond, not a lot of weapons for the Lions, but they do have Equinemia St. Brown's brother, Amon Ra St. Brown. Oh, there we go, Rashawn Gary crashing down, getting Williams for a gain of two here. But issues for the Packers injuries, injuries, injuries. Devondre Campbell, he's out with a knee, likely won't play on Sunday. The fact that he got hurt on a Sunday night and we play Sunday early at noon, I don't think he'll play. I don't have him in there. Quay Walker will be back, though. Ooh, geez, quick nice throw there to St. Brown. I don't think Campbell will play. He might. He hasn't missed a snap all season until the Bills game, but otherwise Isaiah McDuffie will play. I like his just ability to get after it. And then Quay Walker will be back from the suspension, or the the ejection. He wasn't suspended. The ejection for pushing that coach. All right, Goff and Shockman here, five wide. Come on, Packers defense. Ooh, there we go. Nice tackle, Stokes. But, yeah, Walker will have the green dot. And then we should have Alan Lazard back. Randall Cobb will be back in two weeks, so he's not playing tonight. And then Elkin Jenkins should be back on the offensive line. He had somebody step on his foot in practice, and they thought he'd be able to go, but it kind of flared up in pregame. That's why he was like a 90 minute before the game. Hold up. There we get, get to him. Oh, come on, Smith. Come on, somebody get there. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, geez. He just got it away. There we go. Dean Lowry. Haven't heard much of him all season. Same with Kenny Clark the last few games. Where has he been? I haven't even heard his name once. Not even once. And then, you know, Preston Smith playing well, but not, you know, amounting to many stats. And then Rashawn Gary, he should have had a sack against Josh Allen. He ran at him and just pushed him. And Allen's like, what are you, what are you trying to do? And then just threw it. Like, they, like what? <laughs> it didn't make any sense. But here we go. 
Third and two. Can we get? Oh, Quay Walker gets the tackle. Short. Fourth down. Fourth down. Nice. At midfield, though, are they going to punt it? We'll see. Lions have nothing to lose. Dan Campbell, Campbell would probably go for it here, considering who he is as a coach and considering they're one and six. But we'll see what happens here. Nice play there by Walker, read, reading and reacting to the play, getting after it. And Jamal Williams is really good on third and two or third and one and fourth and one and fourth and two. You know, he's been really successful. So LaFleur is pumped with that one. Looks like he's sending out the punter. Yep, they are. They are punting. First drive here. They don't want to give Rodgers good field position if they didn't get it. It is possible. Amari Rodgers. Oh, geez. He didn't fair catch that one. Oh, my goodness. That could have been bad. <laughs> he's already fumbled six times in his short career. He made a nice catch, though, against the Bills on the sideline. I thought it was Dobbs or, you know, anybody besides him that went up there and made that hand catch. Really a nice grab. So, Packers, though, they get Lazard back this week from that shoulder. If it would have been, like, one more day, he would have played. Romeo Dobbs made a lot of nice catches that, like, flipped around and then he caught it. I knew he caught it. I was like, ah, oh, freaking out before the announcers even said anything. I was like, he caught that. He caught that. His feet were down. He caught that. So a huge catch for him. All right, three tight ends to the left here. Aaron Jones, the best player on the field behind Rodgers. Oh, quick throw. Oh, man, almost picked off there. Tanya with a nice catch for three yards. Really nice. And then Samari Ture, him making a big catch. That was awesome, but I'm just excited. You know, you get Wazard back. You get Watkins. Randall Cobb will be back in two weeks. Starting to kind of put some stuff together. These young guys, you know, it takes them a while to get going. By the midseason, they should be where they need to be. Aaron Jones here, second and oh, nope. Throwing it again. Oh, dump down to Jones. Oh, and he gets the first down, powers through. Just nobody can tackle him on the first. The first guy can never tackle him. Bummer for him, though. Packers were 20 and all when Aaron Jones rushed for 15 or more carries. He had 19 against the Bills in the loss, so now they're 20 and one, which sucks because if they would have ran it more on that first drive and got some points somehow that first drive. Ooh, nice throw to Dobbs. Nice, good route, good throw. If they would have ran it more there, got some points somehow. You know, the, the whole dynamic of that game would have been different after getting the stop on the Bills' first drive and then getting a first down, you know, two first downs on that first drive and then stalling out. Packers, they needed to run the ball more. After that, and then after the Bills went up 14-0, then the Packers started running more. It, didn't, it, was, it was a good idea, but you needed to do it from the beginning. You know, too little, too late, and they almost ran their way back in, but just too big of a deficit and then Rodgers turning it over with the interception after we picked off Allen we, oh nice to Tanya again got to get Tanya back into it him and that pass interference just that messed things up that was really a big game changer and then obviously like I said after the interception Douglas had on Allen at midfield first play Rodgers threw a pick should have ran the ball ran the ball ran the ball you just got the pick you don't want to do anything to turn the ball over and they did exactly that and then going forward on fourth and one, they should have kicked the field goal. Then they got the turnover, should have ran the ball. You know, they could have made it a seven-point game, and that would have just changed the whole dynamic, and there would have been at least ten minutes left in the fourth quarter, so quite a bummer. Oh, Big Dog. Oh, what a cut by Big Dog. Got the first down. That's huge. Got to get him involved more, too. I know Rodgers is probably still thinking about the NFC game, or uh, um, the, the divisional game against the Niners when he fumbled after the Packers had the lead. They were driving down again to score, and then Big Dog fumbles. So I'm sure he's always got that in the back of his mind. But here we go, first and 10 at the 37. Rodgers to throw again. He's go oh. Oh, nice. To Watkins that time. Oh, oh, oh. Nice drive here. Six of six on the opening drive for Aaron Rodgers. He's looking really good. That's what I just said. Here we go. I would just sit back and watch this now. Got my introduction out the way. <laughs> so much going on midseason. Not the season the Packers have wanted. 
Oh, nice. Another one. Another first down to Lazard. 7-7 seven seven for 75 yards on this drive now for... Oh. Even against double coverage. Yeah, getting Lazard back will be big. The fact that, you know, Watkins is out there at least. And then Dalbs and Torres stepping up. And Amari Rogers is starting to kind of get used to playing. Oh, screen play to Jones. Oh, he should have cut back in. Let Jenkins get that block. But bummer. 8 of 8 now. 80 yards on the opening drive. That is huge. And then, yeah, Bakhtiari, he played lights out. He played at an all-pro left tackle level. He shut down Von Miller. Von Miller only did something when he was on Yasha's side. And then Elkin Jenkins being out, that was just such a bummer. So, But Zach Tom played well, not in that first quarter, that those first couple of drives. But after that, he played well. But getting him, Elkin, Elkin back and having Bakhtiari playing at his... Elite level. Oh, nice. Oh, touchdown, Packers. Rodgers, 9 of 9 on that drive for, what, 89 yards and a touchdown? I'll have to see what the official. Wow. That was a beautiful drive. Packers should watch this and do exactly that. <laughs> do nothing else. That was sweet. They didn't even run it at all, which I think should be their identity, but... Every, every week is a different game plan based on what the opponent does well. Last week against the Bills, number one off, uh, pass, or number one offense, number one defense, but Packers had the number one pass defense, so held Josh Allen to 205 yards passing on 13 of 25 completions, so it's still two touchdowns, two picks, but... Still in Packers, number one in the league in pass defense. So here we go. Right down the field. I'll have to see where Rodgers is at. But he's 9 for 9 on that opening drive. That's pretty huge. Didn't run the ball. But yeah, I mean, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon combined for 197 yards last week on the ground. Both of them busted, you know, big runs. Both, almost scored on both of those big runs and and they just couldn't get it in the end zone as much as they needed to but a lot good they can build on I'm really excited about what I saw very encouraging very encouraging I know Rodgers doesn't talk about moral victories but there's a lot they can build on there got those young guys going the young guys you know you figure by now they're going to step up Kind of funny though, the seventh rounder, Samari Ture, he got his first reception touchdown before the second round pick, Christian Watson, got his first reception touchdown. Watson has a touchdown on an end around, but he hasn't caught a pass for a touchdown yet. And Ture, I think that's the longest touchdown reception of the season for a Packer. Before it was like 35 yards for Lazard, this one was 37 yards. And it was a broken play, and he was supposed to do like a post, and he came back inside to help Rodgers, and Rodgers saw him and nailed him. So very good adjustment to the route, mid-route, and he deserves more playing time for sure after that. Oh, there we go, Kenny Clark, a name we haven't heard much of at all in the last few weeks. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if they're just double-teaming him down low because there's not a lot of other guys really to block. Gary... You know, if he's not sacking the quarterback, he's trying to push the quarterback and can't push Josh Allen. He's 6'5", 260, you know, or 250, like a Big Ben. It's like trying to push Big Ben. It's like, what are you doing? All right, here we go. End of the first, 7 nothing Packers. All right, second and three. It's always tough. Divisional round or divisional games are always tough. Um... In Detroit, we all know, we all remember the Hail Mary to beat Detroit years ago when they had a win. They had to win that game, and they got that Hail Mary. But, oh, what's from, oh, come on. Brock Wright, the new tight end, he might have, he might be a pretty big target for Gaff now since uh, Hawkinson's traded to the Vikings. Can't believe that still. Still can't believe he traded him in the division. 
anything, anybody but the division. Anybody. Oh, fake inside give. Oh, nice throw, nice catch by Brock right again. What am I? What did I just say? They might get it to him quite a bit. He's pretty good. Right back to him. Come on, we need to force a turnover. Got to get after Goff. I feel like the, the defense starting to get some confidence on that back end. I mean, I kept saying, the reason why we got Douglas is because Jair was hurt. Those two guys haven't played a whole lot together, and now they have played about half of a season together. So the communication is there. You start to see what they can do when they're on the same page. Both had an interception. And it really seems like they're starting to figure it out. Eric Stokes had a good game, didn't give up any big plays. Douglas is the one that gave up the big play touchdown to Diggs. And, um, yeah, the biggest issue on the back end is Darnell Savage. He's afraid to tackle, doesn't seem anywhere near anybody on pass breakups or, or trying to get after it in the, in the pass game. Oh, again, the Brock. He's been open every play at 30 inches now. But they're now savage. I know they were talking about maybe trading him today at the deadline. They just didn't get around to it. Or no one offered anything or not what they wanted or expected. He was a first-round pick, so I get not wanting to take a fourth for him, you know. Twenty At the end of 2020, he was playing at an all-pro level. Or an all, a pro bowl level, at least. And now it's just, where has he been? Again, the Brock Wright. Somebody cover that guy. Jeez. Four catches, 38 yards. Wow. And like I said, Campbell's out of this game with a knee. Walker's going to have the green dot most likely. I'm not sure if he's actually ready to call plays. Maybe Isaiah McDuffie, since he, he'd get the start if Walker can't, or I mean if Campbell can't go, maybe he'd have the green dot. But all right. First and ten. I formation, probably a run here. Oh, he's trying to hard count. Oh, another play. Oh, he's got him. Gar Gary got there. Right around Sewell on the outside. Burned his guy. That's what we need to see from Gary. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you, you know, play action, though. It, it gives you time, a, a little extra time to get there, and he should have ripped that ball out of Goff's hand and ran it down for a touchdown. But second and 19, exactly what they needed to do. Push him back, hopefully force a field goal here. Goff and shotgun again. You know they're passing it. Come on, get after him. Come on, get some pressure. There you go, Smith. Ooh. No, out of bounds. Trying to force it to Brock right again. Third and 19. Oh, they were talking about intentional grounding because he was inside the pocket, but yeah, there was a receiver in the area. Third and 19. Oh, let's get the stop here, guys. McDuffie covering. Oh, oh, there you go, Dean. Oh, nice. Jamal couldn't cut it upfield. Gain of three. It's fourth and 16. Packers hold. Good job, defense. LaFleur is pumped about that one. Got to kick the field goal here. Jeez, both teams, you know, possessing the ball. Not a whole lot of quick offense here. Should have added some more time to the... Oh, you got it. Added some more time to the, um, the quarters, but I did add a minute. But I just like to see more, you know, stats and yards and try to make it more of a, a little bit more of a realistic simulation. But for the most part, it's still exciting. Packers will get a chance to drive down here. And I mean, the NFL has been kind of crazy this year. 7-3 to three isn't a completely far-fetched <laughs> score, really. Yeah, that... Brown's Brown's Bengals game was interesting yesterday. 
Oh, geez. Oh, nice return kind of out to the 29. All right, Rodgers, let's see what you can do here. Nine for nine on the opening drive. 88 yards, wow. Perfect. Perfect through the air. Oh. Let's see if we can get a touchdown here before halftime. And I think the Packers, they get the ball first, right? So, come on. Oh, Rodgers. Oh, Jones. Jones kind of got in his way. Jeez. He should have been on the other side. He totally, Rodgers is trying to, to break out, and he ran. Oh, and he ran. Oh. Ugh. Second and 16 here. Not good. Not good at all. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Come on, Rodgers. Let's get a play here. There we go. He's got time. Scrambling. Ooh. Way out of bounds. Third and 16. Like he's. <laughs> Like he just said, it's almost over before it began. Lions are gonna get the ball back likely with time. And West, yeah, ten passes, zero runs for the Packers. Another pass. Oh, it's rolling out. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's trying to run it. Oh man. Jeez. That was bad. Stupid, stupid play. All right, well, I can get down to the two-minute warning. You'd think the Lions would call a timeout here to try to save some time, but... Packers would have likely waited until the two minute warning, but oh, geez, not even a very good punt. It's all right, though. Let's go defense. Try to get a stop here. Force a turnover. Neither team has been running the ball much. Yeah, that, the Packers really made pretty big time adjustments in that second half. I mean, the Bills didn't come out in the second half and play conservative. They were throwing, trying to throw the ball. They weren't running the ball a lot. They were trying to put the pressure on. The defense wasn't playing, you know, too much prevent. They were, oh, almost got, oh, yes! Lowry forces the, oh, Lowry got after him and forces the hurry throw. Amos is right there to pick it off. Just what the Packers needed. Amos hasn't had a, had a sack all season. That would be sweet. Look at Lowry get there. He hasn't done anything either. Both these guys haven't done anything all season. Part of the issue, a lot of talent on this team, and these, these guys just aren't making plays. But big boy stop there. Big boy turnover. Pretty awesome. Nice. After that three and out before, maybe the Packers can do something here at their own 20-yard line, starting in the red zone. That's huge. Two minutes, all their timeouts, so likely we'll get some points here. Oh, man, they're going five wide to start. Why not run the ball, hey? He's open. Watkins is open. Come on, Watkins. Reach for that or something. Do something. <laughs> uh, second and ten. What happened to running the ball? Twelve straight passes? Except, oh, they ran it with Rodgers, the one on the scramble. That's not really what I mean. <laughs> All right, Rodgers in shotgun. Three wide receivers. Tanya. Oh, touchdown, Dobbs, wide open. Obito Doku. Wow. 
Nobody was there on that one. Easy peasy. Nice. I didn't know. I thought he overthrew it. I was like, they maybe had some free play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. Wow. You put the time in. Sometimes you have that great wow. I wish I could see more of the, right there because the route on that one, but. For some reason, they must have been playing zone or something, and that was just so wide open. I, I don't think I've seen that in a simulation where a guy is just that wide open, but two plays, 20 yards, and eight seconds, quick score, quick strikes, Rodgers, two touchdowns in the first half, up 14-3, to three. but we've seen this story before with this Packers team getting the lead, and then sucking in the second half so let's see if we can get them to make a stop here get the ball at halftime get this win you know the lions is just a tricky team you know it's being number one and off number one in offense number 32 in defense for much of the season already except for the last like two weeks now but you know you know they have the firepower on offense and you know they suck on defense so It'll be an interesting game. Hopefully the Packers can come out with a win. They really have to. Get it to four and five. Then you got the Cowboys and the Titans. Maybe split those. And you're still under 500, but at least you're five and six. If they can beat the Cowboys and beat the Titans, win these next three, I think they have the Eagles after that. And so but they do have the, the little mini buy before the Eagles game. So that could be really helpful because they have Detroit, then the Cowboys, then Titans on Thursday night, and then the Eagles the following week. So they have that little mini bye to get prepared for Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown. Oh, oh, Gary, pick it up again. Oh, what's the flag holding? Yeah. And who? The center. That was on Kenny Clark, likely. Nice. First and 20 at the 15. Maybe the Packers can get the ball again here before the end of the half. Getting some pressure on Goff. You know, without Hawkinson, he kind of loses his security blanket. You know, they have the, the guy Brock Wright, but he's not Hawkinson. Hawkinson was drafted the eighth pick in, in, the, in the whole draft in 2019. Ooh. That, St. Brown, but that was almost a pick there. But I mean, the eighth pick in the draft, and you trade them for, I think they got a second and a fourth, I think. But it's just not very, I mean, for the eighth pick in the draft, and he's like your all your offense, I don't know. I don't get it. And in the division, I don't get it. Come on, Clark. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit, Rudy Ford. Time that up perfectly. He was the highest graded safety for the Packers. And Savage was the lowest graded safety for the Packers. Savage looked afraid to tackle in the hole. He gave up a big run. He had him dead to rights right in the hole. Whiff. Maybe throw Ford out there. If you're not if you're afraid to tackle, you can't play safety. Oh, come on, get there. Oh, you let him get the first down on third and eleven. Wow. 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 They could have got a big stop there. Bummer. Well, force them into a turnover here. You know they're going to try to hold the ball. They're at the 36. They're going to be throwing it here. Try to force them into another turnover. Maybe get a field goal before half. Stretch this lead a little bit. First and ten here, and you know if they can oh, just they get got, three out of this. They're showing blitz. They come, no, they drop out of it. Oh, they bring this to the corner. He throws it right to where Douglas was, right to St. Brown. That was a late blitz by Douglas off the slot, but all right, now it went from third and twelve, and looking like the Packers are going to get the ball back in good field position to now. Lions are pushing for being in field goal territory. 55 seconds, only one timeout though. Off strong eye here. Oh, actually, it was a weak eye. 
Oh, he's got his guy down the. Oh, man. Now they're in field goal range. Josh Reynolds, the old Ram. You know, not big name guys, but all guys that can play well. They're shifty and quick. Khalif Raymond, Amon Ra, Reynolds. They're playing, they're playing zone there and just giving up big, big yardage. The only thing is, is Jerry Goff isn't really much of a threat to run it too crazy. Not like Josh Anlin, so. Oh, oh, man. Oh, nice catch. There was three Packers there. It looked like they could have been picked if the, if the linebacker would have just done anything besides nothing. Or oh, they did call a timeout with 16 seconds. You think they would have ran up and spiked that? I think so. But you never know. Dan Campbell, Lions, they do Lion things. But now 16 seconds. If they complete a pass inbounds, the time could run out. Are they just going to kick a field goal here? First and 10 with 16 seconds left. This is interesting. If they complete a pass inbounds, it is. They don't have enough time. And once they run up and clock it real fast, but yeah, this is yet. This is not. They're not going to. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. They're not. Wow. Oh, that's Madden for you. Computer doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> Bummer, because you know they would have got points there, but I don't feel bad. Oh, they just show, show the one with a run. It's all right. Half time's over here. Rodgers. Been really good today. Yeah, Camel's like, dude, like, what? I, I don't even, I don't know what I was doing. Thanks. All right, bye. <laughs> Fourteen to three. Packers get the ball here. You know, Lions would have got another, another three, so it would have been fourteen to six. So we'll keep that in mind if they come and roar back and make it a game again, but I have a feeling that that three is not going to matter one way or another. Nixon. Oh, oh, rug. oh, he got out to the 31 and a half. Nice return from Nixon. Hasn't really been able to get a good return since that first one he had. The first return he had, it was like 32 yards. Since then, he hasn't been able to get out past the 20-yard line, which... Game Not all his fault, but we need to we need to figure out how to get a return. But this year in the NFL, not a lot of kick returns. I think there's only been one kick return or punt return. All right, first and ten. Rodgers and shotgun. Total yards: Lions 142, Packers 109. Packers haven't ran the ball at all. Another quick one. Ooh, Jones and Watkins were in the same spot. Somebody ran the wrong route. Probably Watkins. He hasn't been able to get open all season. Yeah. Watkins ran right to him. <laughs> all right, I want to see some runs. I want to see the pound the rock. I really thought... You know, their identity would change. I mean, I know Madden doesn't know that, but you'd still think they'd run the ball more than zero. Only they've ran it once. Yeah, they except for the... Oh, nice one to Lazard. Rodgers, 12 of 14, 138 and two touchdowns. Pretty solid there. Trying to stretch this lead again. Or even more action. Move those chains. There's no pressure. He's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time. Yeah, it's such a bummer for Jones. You know, you don't give him, you give him eight carries, eight carries, five carries, four, you know, and then you give him 19 carries, but you're down 27, to, or, you know, down 24 to 7. It's just blowing his streak. Oh, there he goes. Oh, geez. Jeez. First run minus three. <laughs> But they were 20 and all when he had 15 or more. He had 19 against the Bills and they lost, but they were behind. They should have started with that game plan earlier. It's like they switched their game plan mid-game, which worked. Nice adjustment. 
you were just a little bit too far behind to catch up that way. Which, you know, I don't get it. Should have started the game that way and not fallen behind that much. And then when you do fall behind that much, you got to throw it. The but they almost ran their way back 13. in. They almost did. The Rodgers pick really messed us up. After we picked it up, oh, another inside zone that Aiden Hutchinson crashed down on that one. He's already had like a three-sack game in his NFL career. Definitely a bright spot for the Lions this season. Third and 11 here. This is not Crosby's field goal range. I had He kicked a 49-yarder in a, in a simulation before, and... He missed it, short. So, I don't know what, just get a few yards. Rodgers, okay, there you go, scramble. You can get the first down. Oh, I thought you were gonna try to bull rush, dude. Fight for that, fight for that first down. You could, it would have been close. It would have been close. 33 yard line though. Turns out to be the better call here. Is it going to be the field goal? Yeah. Looks like he's trying to kick it. What is it, a 50-yarder here, though? I don't think he makes this. 50-yarder? Oh. He just missed the 49-yarder. He got it. I don't even know how he missed that other one, though. There's no win in Detroit. It wasn't in this game. It, it, but cool that helps 17 to 3 nice way to start the second half last week they got a field goal because that Robert Tanya pass interference penalty but two score lead here keep maneuvering keep adding to it keep making it difficult for them to come back let's go defense got to get a stop yeah, geez. Crosby tried to kick that 55-yarder and just didn't have it. But Packers, they should have kicked the field goal on that fourth and one instead of going for it. You never know. You take the points on the road. You always take the points on the road. And then the next drive, you know, after that missed field goal, we picked it off. And then we threw a pick, but like, you know, you, you get the field goal, you're down two scores now, and then you get the pick, and now you can, if you didn't pick, throw your own pick, you ran the ball more, you could have made it a one score game with time remaining. So you just always take the points, you never know what's going to happen, I know you wanted, you were down 17, you wanted to, you know, make it a closer game, you wanted to get seven, but... Three is better than zero, and you never know what's going to happen. I know we, you know, we struggled on offense that, or defense at first, but we picked them off twice in that second half. So there was opportunities to get back in it. Ooh, I thought I thought Amos was going to be able to read that and jump, but not quite. Right on, it's four catches, 57 yards. You know, this uh, the loss of TJ Hawkinson is just going to spike. I'm on Ross catches, all the other receivers catches, obviously the backup tight ends catch. Oh, nice. Isaiah McDuffie. I like this guy. I, I mean, not just because of that play, but just the way he plays. It's just downhill. He just reads and attacks. He's quick. He's great on teams. On special teams, he's just great. And, you know, give me a chance. He really could be a guy to play well. And then the other backup, oh, there you go, Kenny Clark. And the other guy, Eric Wilson, had a sack last week in his, you know, replacement duty. So pretty solid two backup middle linebackers. One got a sack. I mean, Campbell and Walker both don't have a sack at all. Eric Wilson comes in for one half of football, and he gets a sack. So pretty cool. All right, 13, or third and 13 here. Packers got a two-score lead with 3:15 left in the game or in the third. Yeah, third and 13 here. Let's go. go no blitzing. Oh, underneath. Oh, broken up. 
Douglas with the hit on Williams, forcing the punt. Packers will get the ball here. Hopefully, they can come down and score some more points. Really nice hit there. Douglas has been playing kind of that freelance position at corner. Um, he was spying Josh Allen a little bit. He was in the slot. He was out. You know, he was just all over the place, and that's where he plays the best. Just. Allow him to read and read the quarterback and kind of just go where he needs to go. Really excited to see him kind of get that first interception. Hopefully it is a sign of things to come. All right, here we go. Rodgers back. Yeah, 50 yarder for Crosby. Probably his his max range. All right, trips left. Oh, they're not running it still. Oh, quick over the middle to Lazard. Nice, Rodgers 13 of 15, 147 and two touchdowns. You know, these quick hitters, they have the guys that can get these quick hitters. Lazard, Daubs, Samare, when Cobb comes back. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. I think there's enough time for them to get back their mojo, <laughs> as Mike McCarthy would say. <laughs> Uh, oh, running play, Aaron Jones, first down. Oh, he breaks the tackle. He should have cut left. He's got three rushes for three yards, but at least he got the first down there. Yeah, he is. And they haven't ran the ball at all, but it's worked for him, though. At least they haven't been throwing picks and everything. Can't complain when it works, but you still like to see him do what you know works best best for this team. But Rodgers has the X factor. Another run here. Oh, get outside! Oh, he could have got outside there. It would have been a big gainer. Oh. And Aaron Rodgers, like I said, has the X factor. So look for him when he throws to be to be money. The run got four. I formed second and six. Run it again, second and six. But now they're shifting to the to the run now. Come on, Joe. Oh. Oof. Third and two. See, that's what you need, though. First down run, second down run. Make it a third and two. And now the whole playbook is open. You could do a play action and try to hit, get them deep. You could do, you know, a short one, a short little toss and try to just get the first down. You should cram it up the middle again. Do a stretch to the outside. There's a lot of options. See, play action. Then, oh, oh man. But I would have just on that. I would have just ran in there on that fourth and two at midfield. You just, you just kind of got running the ball again. I would have just ran the ball. Why are they showing them pictures of the Bengals Falcons? <laughs> oh, funny. Well, now the Packers are going to punt likely. They're not going to go for this, but bummer. Why didn't they just run the ball again? You just got the running rhythm going. He had eight yards and two plays, and now you, you're forced to punt. Out of the 19, still inside the 20. Oh, yeah, Pat O'Donnell looks like he's got that spray tan Rodgers was talking about. Funny. <laughs> And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, right, well, it's their turn Packers now can't get a stop here. If the, the Lions score here, you know, it's a game all over again. And, um, jeez, third and two. First and ten. Run and the ball. Well, it's third and two, just run the ball. Don't get cute. Oh, that was the hold. Oh, there you go. Fumble! Safety! Wow! That is crazy. I don't think I, that's amazing. Oh, wow. How does Lowry teleport from the end zone to the sideline? But, wow. Jeez. Kenny Clark pops it out, pushes Goff down. 
the guy picks it picks it up from the one and then rolls into the end zone. That is a crazy play. Wow. That is pretty cool. Free kick. Packers get the ball here. Mario Rodgers with the return. Ooh. A good field position. <laughs> Josh Myers is like on the sideline. Run, dude. Run. <laughs> Now, Here we go, 19 to 3. Packers to ball. This is sort of what you Defense forced the turnover for a safety. That's a ball. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because yeah. what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on. In fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That yeah, if the Packers can get a drive here, here can be score some points. Right here. I mean, it's over court, anyway, but. Yeah, Rodgers X Factor. Oh, that inside. That oh, come on, bounce it. Oh, keeps down. running into his own guy. Not much doing there. But after having success against the Bills defense, their number one rush defense, you'd think the Packers would have a little bit of uh, confidence going into this week here. End of the third quarter. Here we go, start of the fourth quarter. Packers are up 19 to three. Seven in the first, seven in the second, and five in the third. Pretty funny. I know it's the World Series, but that's it's a baseball score if I ever saw it. Five in the third. <laughs> uh, 19 to three. Still possible baseball score. I've seen it before. Big game this weekend for you college football fans. Tennessee Volunteers and the Georgia Bulldogs. Number one versus number two. Pretty sweet. Ooh, another one to Big Dog. Talk about Bulldogs. There's the Big Dog. Nice first hand. <laughs> I, lo I love when Aaron Jones does that. Dust them off. First down. There we go. Pass yards 141 for Rodgers. X Factor, baby. Let's go. Almost at midfield at the 49 yard line here. Another pass. Another pass. X Factor. Ooh, got him to Watkins. First down again. Oh, second and inches. He's just there. 15 to 18 for 166 and two touchdowns for Rodgers. Pretty good. And it'd be good if he had those numbers. And then Aaron Jones had about. 17, 18 yeah, carries, and, and A.J. Dillon had about 13 to 15 carries. That's ideal. Oh, nice cross, or nice slant there to Lazard. Perfect drive going here. That's what I wanted to see before, but they kind of got too cute trying to just... Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Pick some weird plays, and then run it, run it, and then try to pass it when he's coming. I mean, but here we go. Nice drive. Right on Odoku. The Lions' best cover corner. First and 10 at the 27 here. What's the Another three wide receiver set. Tanyan on the left. Oh, it could be a... Inside zone. Oh man. Fake jet sweep. Could have worked. The linebacker didn't go for the receiver at all. He just came right down on the running back. And nice open field tackle. Don't, don't see that a lot on Aaron Jones. But yeah, they ran they blitz. So they can't run the football. They, they did a run blitz. Rodgers is the X Factor still. Here we go. Trips left. Tonning at the bottom. Oh, he's got a guy. Nice first down again to Watkins. Down to the 10 yard line. 17 to 20 for 198 and two touchdowns for Rodgers now. Watkins third grab for 40 yards. Really mixing it, mixing it around nicely. Getting it to Azard and Watkins and underneath to Tanyan and Jones. Dows had the touchdown. Wide open. Wide open for a touchdown. And we'll see a lot more of Samari Ture. You know, I had it. Had to make you know four guys receivers. I guess I could have bought Toure in that uh, 
slot or whatever, but Rodgers, touchdown! He got Dobbs. What a throw again there. On the run. What a catch. Got his feet down. I think we'll see more of Toure in the game, but he's the fifth receiver here, and, you know, it's hard to make him use the guy. <laughs> I have no control over that. Oof. Did he get his feet down? Keep converting and picking up first downs. And if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. I wish I could see that. I'll try to show Fantastic. it after the game if I can. Oh, they're reviewing it. They're taking a peek at whether Oof. or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a There's one foot. Here in the end zone. There's two feet. Not just the feet. How about the hands? I can't How see it. Possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at. To see if it all comes together. Touchdown. Saying these feet were down. After a few minutes, we're going to call the touchdown originally. Nice. I called it before they even had to review it. I saw him, but you never know. I've, I've, I've seen it where the guy's out of bounds and they call it a catch, and I've seen it where the guy wasn't down, they called it down. Madden's got some glitches this year, but really nice. I'll try to go back and um, watch that one again if they let me, but huge touchdown. Just got his feet down. The one was down when he caught it, and then the other one was in. Pretty cool. Nice. Romeo Dobbs, two touchdowns. He is still on pace to break Sterling Sharp's single-season rookie record set in 1988 of 55, 55 catches in his rookie season. Dobbs is on pace to break that. After eight weeks, I'm not sure exactly what he has. I think he had 27 going into last week, and then last week he had, I think, four, so... Oh, there you go. He's definitely on pace to break that record, which would be really awesome. I'm going to check quick, see what he's got. Oh, so here we go. Oh, he's got 30 catches now in his first eight games. So, yeah, if you double that, that's 60. He breaks the record. I know it's quite a bit more games, I think. I don't, I'm not sure if they had 14 still back then or if it was 16 then in 88, but Sharp only had one touchdown that season before he went go, went crazy and had 18 touchdowns in one of those seasons after that. And then I think he had 14 in a different season, so really amazing receiver. Bummer he got injured. Still my favorite, one of my favorite Packer players of all time. But it would be awesome if Dallas could break that record for sure. There we go. Oh, nice tackle, Quay. Third and two, here we go. Yeah, Rodgers is pumped for his guys. Rodgers is pumped. Uh, I know. If they can come out and put a slacking on the lines like this, it would really give these guys confidence, especially if the young guys could make some plays to get the win. I mean, young guys are making plays and they keep losing. That just, you know, it, it doesn't do much for the confidence. So just to come out here and beat the, the, the Detroit Lions, Oh, what a catch. I was going to say the Chicago Bears, but they beat them too. But to be able to come out here and beat the Lions, you know, after the first loss to the Vikings, they played the Bears. They got back on track there, went on a little streak. Now they've lost four in a row. If they can come back and beat the Lions and go on a little streak, that would be huge. It's a little bit different, though, when you got the Cowboys coming to town, the Titans coming to town, and then going to Philly. You don't react as but fast as you should on other throws. Any given so Sunday, they're going to be ready to play. And ten first and 10 here. Lions just playing for pride here, just so that it doesn't look as bad on the scoreboard. Oh, McDuffie, get there. McDuffie with the sack. Wow. Look at him. Breaks through the block. Gets the sack. Really exciting. Look at Jordan Love. 
Oh, it's funny. <laughs> wow. Look at him. Explosion. Breaks through the block. Huge. That's that's a coverage sack too, my friends. That is a coverage sack for sure. Yeah, Dobbs, three touchdowns this season, 30 catches, 296 yards, a 9.9 .9 average, so basically a first down in every catch, and a 26 long. Pretty cool. And that was the one he caught the touchdown on last week. Ooh, overthrown. Third and 24 here. Packers are going to get the ball again if they can stop them, which I, I think will be likely, but they're not going to try to push it or anything. They'll just run the ball likely and call it a game but heck of a win here hopefully this is a sign of things to come definitely would be nice to see the Packers just blow a team out for once it's been too nerve-wracking every single week look at McDuffie all over the field I like what that guy brings to the table obviously I like Campbell more and I like Walker more but if you got to throw a third guy in, McDuffie's great. And Chris Barnes is good too, but I really like McDuffie. He's just just a good football player. That's it. He just plays good, you know. Hasn't had a lot of chances, but when he's when he does have his chances on special teams, he makes the most of it. I'm going to check out his measurable. It's always 6'1". It's not huge. Not a huge guy. Fourth and 18, going deep. Oh, wow, what a catch. Wow. Josh Reynolds. It's pass interference, I bet. On Stokes, too. Pass interfered him, too, on fourth and 18. And he still caught it. And he scored the touchdown. Wow. 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 Heck of a play there. They should have done that earlier. That was good. Hey, you got to give credit where credit's due, right? Wow. Well, maybe we'll see you some offense. Oh, here's two point conversion. But they can make it a. Uh, oh, well, I guess it'd be 15 point game. Oh. oh, wow, he had it, too. He had it, and he cut the wrong way. He had it. He had it. Wow. Well, now it's 17. It would have been a 15-point game, so it would have been two score. But, geez, he's like, what the heck, man? All you got to do is run straight. Yeah, he could have just ran right straight. Right there. And then he cut right. Who knows what he saw. Right there, all that space behind them, <laughs> where the end zone is. <laughs> oh, funny. Hey, what are you going to do? Our guys running into the, I mean, Aaron Rodgers ran into Aaron Jones and got sacked, and then Aaron Jones ran into Jenkins and got tagged. I mean, in this game, I mean. And so, it happens to us, so I'm not going to complain too much for the Lions. But here we get doing an onside kick. Why is Nixon so far back here? Yep, onside kick. Oh wow! Went off the foot of Watkins and he still was able to scoop it up. But Packers might have to try to uh, move the ball a little bit. At least get a first down. You know, I know you're up three scores or whatever, so it's a long shot, but. You still want to, you don't want to, crazier things have happened. I saw, I saw Payne Manning score 21 points in under two minutes against Tampa Bay years ago, years ago, years, years like years ago. I think that was like 2000. I remember being really little when that happened. I should go back and check that out and see what, we'll see what I'm talking about. But that was, that was pretty crazy. All right, here we go. First and 10, still in the shotgun. But now we got DeGuara and Jones back there, and it's a handoff. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got a block. Oh, he's gone. Oh, wow. Big run. Wow, he was almost gone. 
That was crazy. Down to the seven. First and goal. Are they going to try to score here? Wow. We'll get him holding the ball. We'll get him holding the ball like this. Like, you ain't getting this ball. <laughs> Funny. First and goal. What are they going to do? Lions have all their timeouts, but no one's really... Oh, Packers still lined up in... <laughs> still lined up in shotgun. I bet it's the, the same play the other way now, though. Yep. Down to the four here. Lions aren't even going to try to stop the clock. Did I call a timeout for him or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> they call a timeout. They have a big run of play. All right, here we go. Second and goal. Still in shotgun here. Come on, let them score. Come on, Lions. Let them score. I want to see a big blowout. It already is, kind of, but. Senate Watkins in motion. Oh, fake inside game. Oh, he got it. He got it. Touchdown. Totally putting the slacking on the Lions here. That's pretty funny. What a run there. They didn't run it all game. They were clearly good. Uh, Walker's pumped after getting kicked out last week. Look at that. Had the guy right, dead to right, right in his face. Just a little cut. And then he runs into Watkins. <laughs> wow. I mean, pretty cool. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. I mean, they really need a game like this. And after the way they played against Buffalo in the second quarter, if they come out and play like that against the Lions, it will be a score like this. I mean, they held Buffalo to three points in the second half. Picked off Josh Allen twice. Didn't give up many rushing yards at all. And, you know, were really feisty on defense and got after it on offense. They were down, what was it, 27 or 24 to 7 and made it 17 27. So they only scored 10 points in the second half and gave up three. But they had opportunities. They picked it off. They ran the ball well. They almost broke it a few times. Tanya had a touchdown in the end zone, called back for another penalty. I mean, it seems like every week we have a big touchdown called back on a penalty. Last two weeks ago against the Commanders, it was the fumble scoop and score by Douglas because of Eric Stokes' illegal contact. And then last this week it was Tanya's touchdown on offense because of a pass interference. So now I I think I you know I expect some kind of special teams touchdown callback because of a penalty this week, but hopefully not. Hopefully if we just ball out like this. Thirty three to nine, that would make me feel so good. Alright, Jared Goff, he's gonna force a throw here. Let's try to get a pick. A stat patter here. Get a stat patter. Oh no. Oh, they're, now they're trying to call a timeout. Now they're calling a timeout. Brock Wright, five catches, 51 yards. Now they're calling a timeout. For what? You didn't call a timeout the whole fourth quarter to try to save time, especially when you probably should have or could have. I mean, they were down, They could have made it a two-score game and made it 11 to whatever it would have been. 26, I think it was. Oh. And then they didn't get the two, and then they give up a touchdown, and it just got blown wide open. But they were close to making a two-score game, you know. Close. Pretty awesome, though. All right, let's, let's get one of those stat pattern interceptions here. Come on, guys. Three yards remain for second down. Second and three. Doesn't really matter any of, any of that stuff. But the Lions do have another timeout. Oh, dump off the jump. Oh, flag on the play. Oof. The clock was running, so that oh, they can use their timeout, though. It should be a 10-second runoff otherwise. Bolden on the offense. They're not going to make them burn their timeout. Should be a 10-second runoff there. The clock was running when it happened. At the speed and pace that they play. They can use their timeout though to 
to negate that the 10 second runoff, but they didn't take the timeout and they didn't run off 10 seconds. So that's another Madden thing that doesn't happen. But all right, come on guys, get the stat pattern. Here we go, stat pattern. Oh, there was guys there too to try to get it, but. Good win for the Packers, guys. Good win. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we'll get Rodgers' pump. Hopefully they can go into Detroit and get a big victory. That would be sweet. What a game, though. On both sides of the ball. That's what I'm saying. Game balls for everybody. Seven in the first, seven in the second, even, and then dominated the third and fourth. It's exactly what you want to see. Look at that one. Look at that. I'm going to try to do a replay of that one. And then another one for Dobbs. That was the easy one. He was wide open. And then, oof, first one. Tanyan right in the middle on that opening drive. Nine. Nine so passes, nine for completions for Rodgers. Look at that. The well, they outpassed EA us. Didn't have to run it much. But, see, sometimes you don't have your best game like that, and you have the, the better score. Last week, they had a really good game. They led in total yards, rush yards, first down, time of possession against the Bills, and they lost. So, Rodgers, 85.7 completion percentage, 209 and three touchdowns. Pretty dang good there. Let's just do the stats quick. Yep. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yep. Here we go. Oh, 19 to 27 for Goff. Not horrible. One touchdown, one pick. I mean, that's not horrible. Numbers 245. That's not horrible. But Rodgers, 147.7. 18 to 21, 209 to three touchdowns. He hasn't thrown three touchdowns all season in a game. We need him to do that. You know, AJ Dillon didn't even get a carry. 10 rushes for Jones, 52 yards, 5.2 average. That'll work. One touchdown. But, you know, Reynolds with that big that big 53-yarder for the touchdown. But he was the go-to guy pretty much. I'm on Ross St. Brown was held in check. But Lazard, 53 yards. Dows, two touchdowns on three catches. He needs to average three a game pretty much to break the record is what I configured a few weeks ago. It looks like he's right around there you know still where he's got a basically average three but um how many games are there left nine so three would be 27 so that would put him at 57 i think right so that breaks the record so yeah if he does three he'll break it blocking that's they don't really have stats for that Ooh, total geez tackle alex and that at and zalone it's pretty good look at these tackles for these guys but McDuffie with the sack, Bohr with the sack, McDuffie, and Clark with the sack, oh, and then interception, Amos had the interception, but the forced fumble is really what to turn the game around, and then the safety by Dean Lowry after the forced fumble, we're going to watch that again if we can here, so let's see what we got, not that one, cheese, oh, it won't let us watch the play of the day. Oh, here we go. It won't let us watch the, the big touchdown to the Lions receiver where he broke like all those tackles, but oh wow, look, look at this route. And then cuts back, and then, jeez. That's one down. And that's two down, so. Wow. Rodgers was scrambling, and then he had, I mean, just stepping up in this pocket here. Look at that hole he's got to throw to. And he probably could have threw it a little bit more inside, but he didn't want this corner to break down. That's Odoku. He's good, so he threw it only where Dobbs can get it. Foot down. Other one comes down. Heck of a throw there. That was really nice. Oh, they have the impact play here. It says it just says impact play. That's all it says. Cause it was huge. I mean, this was the play of the game. It really blew the game open. I mean, it wasn't even it was close until this. And it's Kenny Clark, double teamed in the middle. Shoves the right guard. 
breaks through the center, gets held, gets pushed, then it hit, oof. Golf is just, I mean, he can't throw it to his tight end. Look at, he's got Packer in front of him. Packer's everywhere, safety over the top. I mean, there's nowhere to throw it. And then he just gets it popped out, wow. Pops out, Gary was trying to jump up and then the big guy, you know, you just gotta let, you just gotta fall on it right where you are. You can't fall on it and roll into the end zone, but Packers will take that one. Pretty sweet there. Nothing there, nothing there. Not that one. This is the one I wanted to see. I'm glad they have it. So this is Dobbs' first touchdown. How did he get so wide open? Oh, they played zone. He's playing the flat zone there. And they ran a streak route. Jeez. Oh, it's because they blitzed. Look at it. They blitzed all those guys. The corner, the middle linebacker. Look at all those guys come down. And then Watkins kind of... Oh, Doku thought Watkins was coming into his zone and then stops and goes back in. And by that time, Tom, uh, Dobbs is already... <sighs> what a play. Wow. Pretty cool. Why do they have incomplete for Sammy Watkins available? Oh, because... <laughs> I mean, weird. Any other big time plays there? That first drive just sits him down. He didn't know if he, Tanya was running the drag or continuing... Not really, uh, kind of a drag, but he didn't know what he was doing, and then Tiny kind of settles down, and Rogers back shoulders him. But a lot of good, I mean, that first drive, it was 3 yards, 10 yards, 17 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards, 13 yards, 12 yards, 5 yards, 8 yards for the touchdown, so that's huge. Super exciting. What a way for the Packers to bounce back, if they can do it this way. I mean, look at the score by quarter. I mean, it wasn't too bad, and then boom, blown out. Packers win. Rodgers, 85.7% completion percentage. Hopefully, that's how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Like it for a Packers win. Like it if you want Aaron Rodgers to throw three touchdown passes. Don't forget to subscribe and everything and check out other videos be doing a full Lions Packers game analysis. Check that game or video out, out as well. <sighs> 33 to 9. That would be sweet. Packers haven't scored over 30 points this season. They haven't scored over 27 points this season. Again, last week they weren't able to get there either. We're so used to Rod Rodgers throwing it for like, you know, 300 yards and four touchdowns and the Packers scoring 38 points and everything. Totally different this season, but hopefully they can turn it around against the one and six Lions. If they lose to the one and six Lions, it's over. So big game this week. Go pack go. Thanks again for watching. Peace out. See you guys next time.